Nat West and the government have both launched inquiries into the way Coots is managed, and a new scandal has emerged today um, about a Coots customer. And she had power of attorney over her father's account, but her brother, her estranged brother, didn't. And Coots seems to have um, arranged or, or gone through arrangements to try and make the bank account details available to her brother as well. Uh, quite extraordinary. Um, he was not authorized to access or control his father's financial affairs without his sister's prior consent, we're told, according to the terms of the power of attorney. And yet Coots then attempted to hold meetings with the man without the woman's knowledge. And uh, this was um, revealed in a complaint to Peter Flavel, and then the chief executive of Coots in 2021. And the woman said, you were sharing confidential and personal information with my brother, which is a clear breach of confidentiality. The letter um, the, says uh, the bank has tried to organize meetings with my brother to exclude me from my ongoing obligations towards my father as his attorney. All of this emerging from the bank that treated Nigel Farage with such outright contempt and has now had to go back on its word give him back his bank accounts, as it well should, and is now awaiting some sort of settlement pending a legal process which Farage is about to start. If I were Coots, I would avoid the legal process and I would make an offer pretty quickly and get this over and done with, because what else is going to come out now that the spotlight is on not only this bank, but also its dodgy owner, Nat West. Because dodgy seems to be the order of the day. Nothing is clear. Everything is done by cloak and dagger. This, is, this isn't the way a bank should behave. This is a scheming organisation. A political organisation, not a bank. A bank is there to serve its customers. It has only one purpose. Instead, these banks seem to think they're there to be involved in some sort of social engineering, some sort of financial censorship, and some sort of improvement process. If we want improvement, surely we should go to the church. If we want censorship, surely we should go to a country like Russia. And if we want social engineering, surely that's the job of the government. But the government has delegated that job not only to banks, but also to schools and universities. It's wrong in every instance. Utterly wrong.